I think Oliveira could be Khabib. You think Oliveira could be Khabib? I think if you run that fight ten times, he wins at least three times. Yeah, you're right. That's actually a good take. I see that. Because, like, that. if you think of the number of times, it's like the Tony Ferguson case, right? We but always you know thought, what? We always thought if Khabib faces Tony, Tony could choke him out or triangle him or some no, shit. No, no, no. And if Tony can do that, Oliveira can definitely do that because his, his submission game is a lot stronger than, than Tony. This is the difference, though. Oliveira's submission game is crazy and he can take damage, bro. Like, he gets knocked down and, like, second round, you're like, damn, he's losing. Like, he just got knocked down twice in that round. Oh. He's getting fucking beat up. Second round, his coach, tell, coach tells him, like, you gotta turn it up. He I feel like with Khabib, you wouldn't even have to worry about that. I don't think Khabib could hurt him like that. But Am I wrong? No, no, no. But you saw... You saw... Okay. You saw McGregor, like... When McGregor started to feel, like, in danger, he started, like, attacking him, right? And Khabib started, like, folding a little bit. He was like, fuck, like... A little right. bit. Like and a then, but then he shot. Then he shot, right? And But he was a tired... He was shot. He shot, but he was, like, tired, right? McGregor's submission game was, like, fucking shit. So, like, it didn't matter. He got fucking, like, on top, and he, like, started pounding him. But, like... If he shoots at Charles Oliveira and he's fucking tired, he's dead. Oliveira's gonna fucking go fast and yeah. fucking yeah. choke him out. And it's gonna be like the whole world's gonna be screaming. I think right the now. The whole world's gonna be screaming. They're gonna be like, holy fuck, Charles Oliveira in a submission. Holy fuck, holy fuck. And he fucking chokes him out if, and they're like, the, the champion. Here's my prediction. <laughs> if Oliveira beats Gaethje, maybe right after Gaethje, maybe one more after Gaethje. If he wins two more fights, for sure, Kirby comes back. 100%. Really? Yeah. Because he's got the 30 and 0, and the argument for Oliveira is better than you is there. Okay. It might not be true, but it's there. It's 100% there. Hypothetically? Because Oliveira's beat, like, the ones that Khabib hasn't beat, too. He's beat fucking, uh, uh, Tony Ferguson. Okay. Decisively. Um, he beat Poirier in less time than him. Uh, there was another person I can't remember right now. But, like, I feel like, if, if here's the, here's the matchup. If you fucking, if Benel Duryush faces him. Okay. Islam. If Gaethje, if Oliver beats Gaethje, Islam gets the fight next, or Darius gets the fight next. Either one. If if Oliver beats either one of them, Khabib comes back. This is my official prediction. Okay. This Khabib is... comes back and loses to Oliver. Oliver becomes a goat. This is my prediction. Three out of ten times. <laughs> if you think, do you think? Oliveira can beat Yechi, then beat yeah. Islam. Yeah. It's totally good. Then he beat Khabib. Does that make him the GOAT? Yeah. He has eight losses, though. Doesn't matter. You think so? Doesn't matter. I don't think losses count that much. I think, like, I think your losses matter based on recency. That's why I had no problem with Amanda being GOAT. Because she has four losses, Amanda. But it doesn't matter. Because the last one came, like, seven years ago. It doesn't matter. It's where you're at now. So it's right? where you end off. But, like, every champ ends off by losing. No. So, well, most champs. GSP, Khabib. No chance. So. And possibly Shevchenko. Yeah. If Shevchenko left right now, she would be like, go to in the future. They'd be like, wait, this, this girl was fighting and we didn't notice this? It's amazing. Like, you look at a... I, since the last time we did that video, I sat down and watched all these fights. I watched Shevchenko's fights. I watched Amanda's fights. I watched John Jones's fights. I watched a bunch of these guys. I watched the Kobe fight that we said we're gonna watch again with Usman. I watched a lot of the man. And like, the more I watched these fights, the more I thought Shevchenko. This is before Amanda lost. We, well before it. I'm like, okay. Like, you're seeing this. Like, we said that Amanda was never in trouble. That's not true. If you go watch her fight against Jermaine Durandame, she's in a lot of fucking, she got knocked, almost knocked out twice in that fight. She was in a lot of... She was almost tapped by fucking Durandame, if you didn't see. She was, like, tra getting... Uh, I think that? it was a triangle, yeah. yeah. It was crazy, man. But, like, you look at Chef Shango's fights, never, ever in any trouble. The only trouble she's ever been in is she got knocked down by Holly Holm. And she won that fight. And Holly Holm is uh, arguably a 45 champion. I, I can't find an argument against Chef Shango. And you, you look at her... Like, you look at her technique, right... And you're like, okay, like you, you, you can compare it to Usman, right? Usman goes throwing haymakers back and forth with Kobe. You don't see Shevchenko doing that. Shevchenko's touching you, not getting touched. Touching you, not getting touched. It's insane. You go watch her fucking beat the shit out of Caitlyn Chukagi and you're like, holy fuck. You look at what she did to Jessica I, just flatlined, just like dead. Yeah. And, and you look at the returns, like what did they do to her? You look at Khabib, he lost against Connor in that third round, right? 
Michael Johnson or what? There's a bunch of places where you can see all these goaded people getting into a ton of trouble. You don't see that against even against the men that she wasn't in Yo, trouble. but that's ever. Low, that's low key because like, okay, think about this. That's like, you're so right because like, think about this. If Max Holloway, okay, okay, never, you didn't. Uh, okay, he was he was still champion. He won all his 145 fights, but like. You don't count his uh, loss at 155, like to Dustin Poirier or whatever. Okay. Like you would consider him one of the goats. Like if he was no, to- Volkanovski. O two mm-hmm. against Volkanovski. No, no. If he like hypothetically, if he beat Volkanovski, okay. Uh, hypothetically, yeah. Okay. Like if, if if Amanda beat Pena, she's still goat, but she didn't. Mm. Right. Yeah. Here's another one. We talked about GSP last time. There's a good argument to be made that GSP lost to Johnny Hendricks on the way out. Johnny Hendricks was like now like considered trash tier. That's weird. But then there's you know the whole everyone's on roids argument. So I don't know. It's weird, man. MMA math is really weird. I think we we alluded to that last time, and it's becoming more and more clear now. But I think like any way I weigh it, I can't argue against Shevchenko. I can't do it. It's just like the dominance is there, the real well-roundedness is there. The champ champ definitely could have been there, and it still can. She has a win over Pena. If Amanda rematches Pena, loses. You don't think Shevchenko takes that fight? Mm-hmm. A fight she's already won. She has cleared out 25. Dana would make that fight any day. He's like, yep, come up. Champ champ. Shevchenko. There's, like... I don't know, man. This is This is my thoughts. I think if Jones, if Jones goes up to heavyweight, beats Ngannou, there's still, a, there's still, you know, there's still doubt in my mind. Why? Because the Peds won, and all the split decisions against the the different opponents. Shevchenko is not doing that. She's schooling people. The only person she hasn't dominated is Amanda, and that's because she's two weight classes above her. Mm-hmm. And even then, people, there's people who think that she won those fights. More people think she won those fights than think that she lost them. When, what weight class did Amanda beat Ronda Rousey in? 35. That's another thing. I went back and watched Ronda's fights. And I'm like, holy fuck, dude. Ronda was a beast. I know she gets a bad rep now. But holy shit. I watched some of her early fights. She just... The judo throws she's landing on people? Like, I've never seen this. She's like... I've never seen this. Like, holy shit. She's like girl Khabib if he didn't retire. Girl Khabib. Well, that's Kayla, right? Kayla Harrison on her way to the UFC. Holy fuck. No, I don't know about girl Khabib. Because, like, her style was very different. Um, but for her time and what she was doing, it's like, damn. Damn. She was actually a GOAT at the time. Mm-hmm. At the time. She had, like, what, seven defenses? Mm-hmm. That's crazy. Mm-hmm. I think, like, Amanda might have one more than her. Maybe not even. Mm-hmm. I know, like, your j was trying to beat that record, and she didn't. She, like, lost to Rose. Joanna, when she was, like, in her prime before she lost to Rose, everyone thought she was the fucking goat. The goat. She but was, she never, she, she was, was never in the conversation. Girls, bro. She, she was, was, right? But no woman talked about her that way, right? No, she was undefeated, and everyone's like, no one's beating her. No one's beating her. Yeah. That's, it's like, it just goal. goes to show that that argument is always there. You always think that so-and-so person is never getting beat until they get beat. And it always happens, all the time. Mm-hmm. You know, you, who would have seen Amanda getting destroyed like that? Mm-hmm. Who would have seen Ronda getting destroyed like that by Holly Holm? Mm-hmm. Right? It's crazy. But, like, but it happens. There's so many hypothetical worlds. Like, what if Conor McGregor never lost to be like? Never what if Conor it? McGregor defended 145, never left 145? Mm-hmm. Right? I don't know. There's endless what ifs, man. What if Oliveira faced Khabib before he left and he beat him? What if he stayed and fought at 155 for consistent years, like Adesanya and shit? Khabib? No, McGregor. McGregor? Well, I don't think that would go very well. Like. He fought like three times a year. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. It's hard to say. But, yeah. It is hard to say. He'd be better shape. What if Masvidal was still 155? Oh, he's fucking... He's too... He's too big. Maybe. What if they made 165 back when Ben Askren was around? And Ben Askren was champion 165 right now. 
Because he didn't eat the knee from Asphodel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't want to go down this route, man. It's it's better to just see what you know. What if Fado was signed to the UFC back in the 2000s? Yo. You know, like it could go down all these paths. Do you think Rose has a case of being the goat? Why did I put my phone in the bag? Rose? I don't think so. Not right now. Not for a long time from now. But maybe. I think the strongest case right now, the two leading contenders, maybe three, is Shevchenko, Jones, and Usman. Right? Mm -hmm. I don't think we get out of that, that conversation yet. We're just going to have to eliminate these guys one by one over time. Mm -hmm. And, and Gano's going to do that for us in January. <laughs> Oh my god. That's gonna be another one. So like you thought John Jones wasn't gonna lose until he fucking just knocked out round one by Francis and Connor. Like, okay. Well, that was cool. In Gano himself, people thought, how the fuck is he gonna lose? And then Steepy took him down and beat the shit out of him for five rounds. You remember that? And Gano's just got as big as possible. And then he just picks up Miocic and fucking throws him on the ground. Did you see the <laughs> oh, second oh, fight? Smash. The second fight, he just picked him up and threw him on the ground. Yeah, well, technically it is too fucking wide, man. I feel like if they're going to add a new division, it should be like 225. Like, Miyota shot for the legs, and Francis and Gardner didn't even shoot. He just fucking picked him up and threw him. Like, he was fucking the Hulk. It was fucked. Rewatch that fight. It's so fucked. All right, all right. I'll go rewatch that fight. But I should drop you off, bro, because I'm going to miss 420 if I stay here any longer. <laughs> you have a 420 pickup? Well, I picked myself up at 420, man. 